Hello and welcome all in this video. So today's topic for discussion is reproduction of euglena. And this will be our second video related to the euglena. So let's start the reproduction about the euglena. So in case of euglena, the reproduction which takes place Asexual reproduction, asexually. That is, asexual reproduction is found in the euglena. So here, euglena can multiply asexually by two process. One of the process that is called as a binary fusion. By this binary fusion, the euglena can be divided into single euglena divided into two euglenas, so called as binary fusion. And second process of the reproduction that is called as multiple fusion. That is, from that, in that process, from a single euglena, many euglenes are formed. So let us see about the binary fusion. So the binary fusion can be takes place under favorable condition of water, temperature, and food availability. Whenever there will be the favorable condition at that time, the process of binary fusion can be takes place in the case in in the euglena that is in this case the euglena divides by simple longitudinal fusion in this case the euglena can be divided by a longitudinal fusion that is the parent euglena can be divided into two daughter individuals where one is the plain mirror image of the other in this case first the nucleus is divided and the dividation of the nucleus by the process of mitosis is then followed by the division of the cytoplasm that is called as cytokinesis so in this process first of all the nucleus is divided and again this the cytoplasm again divided that is the by the process of the cytokinesis so at the time of divide, division of the nucleus by the process of mitosis in, in that case, in, in the prophase stage, all the nucleoli that is called as endosomes fuse together. All the nucleoli or the endosomes fuse together into a single nucleolar body. And each chromosome then splits longitudinally into two daughter chromosomes, also called as chromatids in the next step. In case of metaphase stage, the pair of chromatids comes lie in longitudinal plane. This process of the mitosis takes place to divide the nucleus. In anaphase, day, in anaphase stage, the paired chromatids then separate and move towards the opposite pole, moves towards their respective poles. And again, the nuclear membrane begins to constrict, this nuclear membrane begins to constrict to divide the nucleus. And in the telophase stage, the constriction in nuclear membrane deepens and finally separate the nucleus into daughter nuclei. So finally, the single nucleus divided into two nuclei. So this process can be takes place of the mitosis by which the nucleus is divided. Then, then the dividation of the nucleus then followed by the division of the cytoplasm by the process of cytokinesis. So at the time of cytokinesis, the longitudinal furrow here, the longitudinal furrow appears in the cytokinesis. At the time of cytokinesis, the longitudinal furrow appears in the cytoplasm, appears in the cytoplasm. Longitudinal furrow appears from the anterior side of the euglena due to which this can be appears from the anterior end which deepens which deepens down and finally the euglena can be divides into two daughter euglena and at the at the time simultaneously some of the cell organelles like reservoirs cytopharynx this reservoir then cytopharynx then also cytostome then stigma, flagella, all this can be divided 
simultaneously and from this process at the end of this process two euglenes or two daughter euglenes are formed so this process is called as this process of reproduction is called as binary fissure now there is having another process of reproduction which takes place in the euglena that is called as multiple fissure that is called as multiple fission process of reproduction in the euglena there is a second type that is called as multiple fission under inactive period under unfavorable condition euglena undergoes multiple fission and this process is this multiple fission is an insister condition at that time particular time of multiple fission the movement of this euglena is stopped flagellum is thrown out here is here we do not found any flagella so this flagellum can thrown out flagella can be thrown out and euglena become somewhat rounded and embedded in a extensive thick and mutually in a coat this euglena is then embedded in a particular type of covering envelope that is called as mutually in a coat which is a thick a thick coat which is also called as cyst so euglena goes in this cyst to avoid the unfavorable condition and at that condition the multiplication takes place again this uh, cyst is secreted by the mucociferous bodies cyst is secreted by the mucociferous bodies so also also called as mucogenous coat so at the time of insistment this insistment is then followed by repeated longitudinally binary fission and forming several daughter euglenes under the cyst the nuclei and euglenes can be divided into many daughter euglenas or many daughter euglenae like this about 16 to 32 euglenes are formed at a time and these all these embed, all these individuals are embedded within a particular mass and that mass is called as mucogenous that mass is called as mucogenous mass so we can found here around that particular euglenas daughter euglenas a mass is covered mucogenous coat is formed that is called as mucogenous mass and in that mucogenous mass the daughter individuals also shows under this mucogenous mass each and every daughter individual also shows a separate covering their own mucogenous coat that is called as cyst later on these daughter individuals acquire flagella and escape to grow into adult euglena after favorable condition after the dividation is completed this euglena can get the flagella and they comes out of this mucogenous mass and coat and forming an adult individual or adult euglena so this was about the reproduction which is takes place particularly in the euglena so if you like this video then share with your friend and please subscribe this channel jns basic zoology so thank you for watching this video